all the long-standing problems still entrench in our society, we have added another problem, which is making things even worse, which is taking us backwards and not forward. And what is that? It is the seeming policy of division and exclusion, marginalization of a certain group. That is not good for business. The political instability and tension is not encouraging investment. Division on tribal lines does not consolidate peace. It perpetuates resentment. Now, yesterday, in the opening statement of our leaders, we were inspired in so many ways that we saw that our leaders, for the first time, admitting to faults and willing to take responsibility. But we also see that there is a big gap between rhetoric and reality. We are preaching peace, yet we are undermining those institutions that foster peace. We can give countless examples, but I don't want to bore you right now with examples. Let me just mention you. You cannot preach peace and you're sacking people who are guaranteed with security of tenure under the Constitution and the statute. You cannot preach peace and you impose a speaker on parliament against the majority party in parliament. We cannot preach peace when it seems like appointments are being done on tribal lines. We cannot preach peace when we are depriving access to justice of the hearing of political cases by opposition or otherwise, and even by the Sierra Leone Bar Association. 